One thing I did do, so I used to bike to work all year round. I did it for 15 years in Wisconsin. It was pretty the hardcore. As well. Yeah, yes. I know. Wow. Okay. Wear like two pants, three jackets, two gloves, and then get military grade <laughs> gloves. You get, you know, lashicles where your eyes fuse together. It was it was pretty brutal. And then eventually I said, okay, this is a bit much. So I stopped doing that and, 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 and drove to work instead. But I didn't stop eating as much as I was eating when I was biking. So a minor adjustment had to be made there, and I imposed that. So I would try to match my intake to my output. Mm. Now, if I were, you know, an all-year-round swimmer, you're going in the lakes and all that, that's an energetic requirement. So I think the key, and what I do, is try to match my food intake to my expected output. If you're a long-distance runner, you need more food than I do, right? And if you... You know, if you were bed rest and and very little movement, you don't need as much food as I eat running up and down the stairs after my students telling them to do things. 